Eric Jackson. I am using the boss hunting email and I seem to be getting responses to put uh, my info in the ATS because they have to view applicants for the ATS for legal reasons. They do. They do. Are they telling me no? No. They're telling you yes. Okay. So, uh, Andy Lasavita School of Living Life. Any, any action you take, or even if you're just sitting there and something was acted upon you, the immediate reaction is, I'm sure that was for my own good because life happens for me, not to me. What can I do with this right now? Okay, I sent a boss hunting letter. I'm Eric Jackson. I sent a boss hunting letter and the boss said, hey, Eric, thanks for reaching out. I'm assuming something of this nature. Would you please put your resume in the applicant tracking system? What can I do with this right now? I immediately go back to the boss. I say, Thank gratitude. Thank you so much for uh, responding, and I appreciate the direction. I will do that right now. Thank you. Second thing you say is, I'd love to be able to follow up with the recruiter or whoever is in charge, the human resources person, whoever's in charge of recruiting for this position to ensure they got my application and were able to review my resume. Would you be open to sharing with me who that person is so I could follow up with them in a week or so? Question mark. Right? Off it goes. And one of two things is going to happen. They're either going to get, and then I would put my resume in the applicant tracking system, but I would also do one other thing. So you got a couple of lanes here we got to go through. You go back to the recruit or to the hiring official. They're going to do one of two things. Dead silence or I'm not sharing, sorry, one of three things, or here's the name, okay? Any of those, if it's dead silence, you don't need to worry. If it's, I'm not sharing the name, say, okay, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. I, I will try to stay in touch with you. Hopefully, this will be positive, okay? And then the, the other option is, here's the person. In, in the first or, in the, sorry, in the second or third scenario, so dead silence, here's, and actually, dead silence, or I'm not giving you the name. I would try to find the recruiter and I would say to them, uh, I, I uh, wanted to reach out because I'm applying to your organization. I, I uh, so-and-so asked me to put the re my resume in the applicant tracking system, which I did. I wanted to follow up with you or whoever is the appropriate person who's recruiting for this position to see if you had a chance to review my resume. So and so told me to put it in the applicant tracks, which they did. Right? You didn't say I know so and so. You said so and so told me. Okay? So now what's what's the inference on their part and the implication on your part? I know this person, right? So that's what I would do. And then if if you can't figure out who the recruiter is or the human resources person is, then you know you take your you take your shot. But that's that's how I would go through that. So if you don't get the name, if they dead silence back from the hiring official or they don't give you the name, then you take a shot. If they give you the name, then you put it in their applicant trace and you send it again to the recruiter. Just say, hey, I, I, I wanted to reach out to you directly because I, I appreciate how um, you know many applications you probably have in the applicant tracking system. So I just wanted to send this to you directly so you'd have it. I would appreciate you, blah, blah, blah. There you go. Right? So you got that. So you're all covered. What can I do with this right now? Right, that kind of stuff. Then what would I do? Because the Andy Lasso V School living life. Let's say a month goes by. Right? Back to the hiring official. Hey, I wanted to check in with you. I hadn't heard anything back. I did apply. I did apply. I even tried to reach out to this person thinking that might help, but I haven't heard anything back. So I wanted to check back in with you on two things. Number one, see if there's, you know, any if the you know, any opportunity to work with you? And if not, uh, would, would you be, you know, is there anybody, as you can see, I'm job searching. Is there anybody else you know that I might be able to connect with in your network or any other recommendations you have? It's a low priority for me, but if it's a company that I really, really want to work for, here, you got to remember something, folks. On the one hand, you might hear me say, don't spend a lot of time following up with people who aren't getting back to you. And that's true. But when you are automated, meaning, because what went into my calendar was immediately, 
I talked to him. He did this. I put it in the applicant tracking system. Where's my damn, where's my damn note card? I'm here, right? This is what's happening. But this iteration is what? It's the follow-up that says, what does it say? 30 days out, if I don't hear anything, there's an alert in my calendar that says, email that guy. There's nothing to the follow-up. The follow-up is boilerplate that I already generated. I cut it, I pop it on top, and I send it. it takes me 10 seconds. Alert, copy, paste, forward, go. That's, that's when you're in the groove, right? Like when you, when you got your system set up and you got your boilerplate set up. And, and, and you plan it the night before so that when you wake up, you know, if I don't hear by tomorrow, that email's going out at 8 o'clock. Hell, I might even schedule that email. So, so that's the way I would do that. When somebody gets back to you, that is gold. That is, that is your first goal. I need to elicit a response. What can I do with that response? Well, the response is, hey, come on in for an interview. You go in for an interview. The response is, hey, we're not hiring. Okay, you go back to them. What can you do with that? All right, I really would have loved to work for you. Do you know anybody? right? Hey, who's the recruiter? Can I get the recruiter in my, my resume in there anyway, just so you have it in your system? But what can I do? What can I do? What can I do? Don't stop till you're, till you're done. Eric Jackson, that was a great one. Thank you. Hope that helped.